Welcome to B2B Tech Talk, Ingram Micro's destination for information on technology, business, and the people that make them run. This episode is sponsored by Xvantage, Ingram Micro's game-changing platform designed to help your business run better and grow faster. On today's episode of B2B Tech Talk, we're talking with Ryan Overtoom a partner and the National Managed Services Practice Leader in Sikich's technology practice. With over 20 years of experience, Ryan effectively leads the managed cloud and services areas that deliver value to their clients. Ryan is also a proud member of Ingram Micro's TrustX Alliance community. Ryan, welcome to B2B Tech Talk here in Nashville. Thank you for having me. You bet, it's good to see you. Okay. I got to talk a little bit about Sikich because my experience with Sikich is my husband is very familiar with your company because they utilize you uh, for CPA, CPA activities. But there's a lot more to Sikich. Tell us about that. Sure. Thanks, Nina. So, yeah, we are a little unique uh, in the solution provider community. We, we definitely have a component of our practice area that, that fits the IT solution and cybersecurity space. Um, but we are a $350 million accounting services firm, um, really anchored by accounting and technology and advisory. Uh, and so we have a sizable technology practice. Um, roughly $105 million of our $350 million in revenue is from our technology services area. But the lion's share of that is really our ERP and CRM group. Uh, so we are uh, very focused on some of the major publishers that, that you would know, like Microsoft and Salesforce and Oracle. Um, and uh, the Oracle NetSuite package as well. And then we have an IT solutions and cybersecurity practice. So you could consider us a smaller Deloitte or a smaller PricewaterhouseCoopers or smaller KPMG. We're just in the mid-market, lower enterprise space where those really large behemoth CPA firms are playing in the, in the large enterprise space. Excellent. Now, how long have you been a partner of Ingram Micros? So we have been involved uh, with Ingram. I mean, it, it must be 20 plus years mm -hmm. at this point in time. And we've always really enjoyed that distributor relationship. Ingram has had through the years, tons of great people that have worked with us and sort of helped us grow and helped us evolve. And we've been part of the TrustX Alliance in its former iteration as the Venture Tech Network. Mm -hmm. And we've been part of that community for maybe 15 years or so. Wow. Uh, so it's been a really fun ride. Uh, there is always new things to learn, and what a better, pl what a great place to learn uh, coming to these conferences and taking part in affinity groups and masterminds and the and the whole community that is that is the Ingram Trust X Alliance. What is the biggest benefit? Um, I, you know, it's funny because I talk to a lot of different partners who either part of our SMB Alliance community or TrustX community, and they say different things, you know, what, what it means to them. What does it mean to you? Yeah, thanks, Nina. So I think that there's, you know, a couple different ways that we, that we utilize and par participate in the community. First and foremost, because our IT solutions and cybersecurity practice is not the whole part of our business, it is great to be able to take our, you know, $25 million book of business and understand what everybody else in the community is doing, right? There are many, many hundreds, frankly, of partners that are transacting through Ingram and part of the Trust X Alliance community um, that have best practices and have vertical expertise and have um, cybersecurity expertise and things like that. So we can navigate our, our own learning, mm -hmm. our own sort of trajectory, directionally, where do we want to head and mapping those things out and our own road mapping and budgeting, but we can tap into this community for their best practices. And so I'm huge on not having to reinvent the wheel. And so I can always come to this community and I've developed, you know, dozens and dozens, dozens and dozens of close friendships over the course of the time that we've been involved here. And so that's my, my small board, right, yeah. in this space and, and, and picking up their best practices and, and their go-to-market activity. I think it's, and, and, and by the way, us giving back to that community too. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's the first way and, and that's extraordinarily significant. I'd say the second way is tapping into the other partners across the country and now in Canada and Europe and, and, and beyond where we don't have feet on the ground. So we might have a client that's headquartered in Chicago, which is where we're based. Mm -hmm. 
but they have an office in Orlando or they have an office in San Francisco. And so leveraging the community to help be our feet on the ground and help extend our reach. That is, that's incredible. I, I, I love how partners can work together, even though in some cases they could be perceived as competitors and they can work together to help each other, again, expand their portfolio, extend their geographic reach. Yes. That's amazing. Um, going back to Sickage. Where do you see, so you work a lot in cybersecurity, um, where, where's your focus going to be over the next 12 months? We are, as a firm, as a whole, but certainly within our technology practice, we really believe that vertical alignment is sort of the next phase of the evolution of the professional services organization, the consulting organizations. So I think we all have margin problems. As a community, as a, as a, as a channel, as a member of the channel, as a, as, a, as a provider of technology services, we're all getting pinched from software sale and product resale and things like that that we were doing for, for many, many years. And so we have to find ways to differentiate. We have to find ways to add value for our clients and for them to choose us in a competitive situation. Um, Further, we have to be adding additional service offerings for our, for our clients. And so we think and, and believe and are sort of efforting this vertical alignment. And, and really what that means is for us, focusing our sales and marketing and, and really our overall go-to-market effort, go-to-market strategy and efforts around verticals. Construction, for us, it's construction, it's manufacturing and distribution, and there are some subsets of that, uh, that, that that we're also involved with, professional services, life sciences. So focusing on, focusing on heading in that direction from a, you know, putting our, our sort of the weight of our sales and marketing efforts into those verticals, but then once we get in, to a client that's in a construction vertical or in the manufacturing or professional services or life sciences, whatever it might be, going deep and wide and gaining more wallet share from that client because we have expertise in there. So if you think about us, we have expertise in our accounting and tax services. We have expertise in our advisory practice areas. We have expertise in technology. And so when we have an opportunity, we need to be bringing in whomever in our organization, regardless of service area that they live in, to speak about their expertise in construction or their expertise in life sciences or whatever it might be. And then if, we're, if our first entry point is NetSuite in life sciences, if our first entry point is Business Central in the construction vertical, if our first entry point is IT services and professional services vertical, it doesn't matter. Then we just get deeper and wider, get really in depth with the client, really understand them and try to bring you know, sort of our weight of expertise in that vertical and sell more and more of our services into that environment. I think that that will help us differentiate. And that is really ultimately what we're all trying to do is differentiate our service offerings. And also to be an indispensable partner to your, to your clients, yes. right? Because that's what they're looking for you to do. And once you do that, I think it's a lot easier to stick with a trusted provider, service Agreed. provider, than it is to work with several, right? Agreed. We've been really fortunate. CPA firms partners in those CPA firms have sort of patient doctor relationships with their clients. And so we've been, we've been fortunate to have really nice introductions within the firm, um, sort of sharing of clients and so forth. There's some constraints that accounting services, and you probably, your husband probably knows this, um, with a test services, mm -hmm. and we can't do certain things when, when we're providing a test services for a client. But, but that aside, we do get really nice introductions and it's been very helpful as the firm has evolved to cross sell within our, within our client base. That's fantastic. What are, so we're here at Ingram micro one in Nashville. What do you hope to get out of this week? You know, the, the best thing about these conferences is reconnecting with friends uh, and reconnecting with business owners and folks in the organizations that we've gotten to know over the course of time. That is my favorite thing. Uh, and, you know, it's so easy to just pick up where you left off at the last conference and check in and how their business is going and, and frankly, get some input from them if they're seeing the same things in the marketplace that we're seeing. Uh, listen, Q1 and Q2 were a little soft. Um, we also get some feedback from Ingram, mm -hmm. right, on are the things that we're seeing in our firm and the things that 
the other partners that I talk to that they're seeing, um, is Ingram seeing the same thing in aggregate? It's really helpful to get some of that information from Ingram. And I don't know what the answer to that question is, but I'm interested in asking it. Uh, so that's certainly the, the, the best thing about these conferences right. is sharing of information and, and reconnecting with old friends and, and picking their brain on what's happening in their businesses. So validation, right? Sure. Or, hey, we've, you know, we've started down this path and it's worked really well. Um, you know, I'll give you an example. A couple of years ago, one of the community members was explaining about some offshoring that they mm -hmm. were doing and, and the partner that they were leveraging and that it was working really well for them. And so I took, I was able to take that information back. We did our own evaluation sure. internally and, and we contracted in that way as well. Uh, so it's little tidbits of information like that, right? It's not having to reinvent the wheel. It's, it's a trusted partner giving me some information that I can take back to my firm and then we can talk about it and potentially move on it too. That's fantastic. This has been such a great time with you learning more about Sickage and, um, and, finding out where you're going to be going over the next 12 months. I hope you have a wonderful time here in Nashville and that you get all the things that you're looking to get out of your Trust X Alliance experience this Thank week. You, Thanks. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me. You bet. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this episode and you want to continue the conversation online, use hashtag B2B Tech Talk.